Hi guys, in today's video we are going to discuss or going to see what are the out of the box custom CC, uh, sorry not the custom, out of the box CCP and agent workspace and what exactly it means. You might have seen these videos in other uh, uh, section where I have done the whole demos right, uh, how the call is transferring to the agent side, so that is what the CCP is. Uh, uh, before moving on, I uh, like to request that uh, to subscribe this channel as there are 91% who are viewing the channel are not subscribing. Your subscription does help the content creator. You can watch the video in 1.5x as you feel like. Okay, so what we will do or what we will understand, right? So we have created the chatbot and now we want to transfer the call over here, right? So how to do that? So first of all, we have to see what are the out of the box uh, workspace are available. So one is CCP control. So if I click over here, what will it will do is it will log me as an admin, right? And you can see over here, this is just a, a simple, what do you say, uh, agent workspace or the CCP, right? Where user can or agent can dial the number, they can accept the call, they can accept the chat and they can uh, accept the task also right so these are the out of the box ccp side and similarly we have something called agent workspace which is like the advanced version of the ccp where along with the ccp uh, what you see in the salesforce or in the microsoft uh, crm site right there are information related to customer then there are cases and then what you have this is amazon q where it will assist you with the knowledge base and all this thing. So they have uh, done, what they have done is integrated everything into one section. At the end, the call will come over here and based on the parameter, it will populate the information over here. Okay. So what we will do is the simple demo where the call will transfer over here. Uh, so, okay, before that, okay, let's do one more thing. So right now you can see it is logged in as an admin, right? So what we will do is first we will create one user and we will use this user for further future demos of like uh, custom CCP and all this thing. So let's name it uh, manual. Okay, last name we require, don't require. This is the login ID that will be there. We can give manual at abc.com, whatever you want to give. Phone number number doesn't require. I will give the password. Uh, which uh, I'm going to use, okay. And, oops. Okay. And security profile, we will assign them as agent and admin. Usually, if it is just an agent, you just give the agent over here. Routing profile, I think we have, oh, we have so many routing profile. I will go with the basic routing profile. So this is a profile uh, through which it will, the user will be, or this agent will be receiving the call. What we will do, please, or oh, last name also required. Manual read, let it be. Okay, so it's creating the one user it has created. Now I will just quickly, yeah, oops, no, it's okay. What I will do quickly is I will go to my flow. Which flow I was using? I think main menu I did, right? For demos, I, I don't remember now. Uh, so tutorial, invoke Lambda, oh my God, so much things, just a second. Okay, I don't have any ready-made demo which quickly transfer the call to agent. So what I will do is I will just quickly modify this flow. So this get customer info, fried info status. Instead of going over there, what I will do is I will transfer, oops, not transfer to flow. Transfer to a queue. And before that, I will set a queue. Uh, set, 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 set working queue. Okay. And also I will see in my routing profile what queue it supports. So we have given this user as basic routing profile. It accepts two chats and basic queue. Okay. So what I will do is I will transfer this call to basic queue. Once user say flight info, 
and it will transfer the call to that queue and then what we will do is we will disconnect where is the disconnect disconnect okay quickly we have modified the flow click publish click publish rtm main menu is the flow what i will do is also in parallel i will log in so what for the login right we have created one user name manual uh, let me log into that so i will give this url and it should ask me for uh, login credential we gave the user as manual password as this and once it logged in right it has logged in uh, we will quickly go back to home go to the test chat and uh, test setting we will point to rtm main menu click apply and we will start the bot okay and over here uh, flight info flight info let's see it work or not so once it do that what is it request so it's first time i'm oops i'm logged in over here let me go offline and do a reject over here so that i will receive the call over here i will mark myself available and over here now we have received the call right allow camera whatever the permission required so you have received the call over here in the uh, agent side using uh, agent workspace and if i do the same thing over here with the uh, custom ccp that will be also applicable and not the custom ccp sorry uh, out of the box uh, ccp in the next video we will see how to do the custom ccp right so this is all within the amazon connect instance and all this thing let's say in your company if you want to do customization to this ccp like there are limitation feature over here limited features right how you can add more features right so that we will see over here Thank you. Have a nice day.